Motion VFX just released their new Imroto AI plugin for Final Cut Pro, and it's insane. It's like green screen, but minus having to actually have a green screen. All you have to do is take the Imroto AI effect, drag it onto your video clip, then use this magic selection tool to roughly outline the object you want to isolate. The AI will then detect where the edges are and create a really precise selection. Then you can click track and this small processing window will pop up and it show you the progress as it continues to analyze the rest of the video. Once it's done processing, click over here on output and select mask video to erase the unselected areas of the video. Or you can hit invert to erase the selected areas. There's also a couple of sliders here for smoothening the selection, shrinking and expanding it, or blurring the edges if you want to. And now you can easily set any photo or video that you want as the background to this clip by selecting the clip on the timeline and placing it above the video that you want as the background. I thought it would be really fun to recreate Thing, the sentient disembodied hand from the Adams family. This shot was actually gonna be way too easy using Imroto AI, so I decided to give myself a challenge by adding in some camera movement. I set my camera up on the Hohem MT2 gimbal and used my phone to program in a dynamic camera move that could then be repeated over and over again at exactly the same speed. Then I hit play on the gimbal and recorded a video of just the background without anything else happening. Then I had the gimbal repeat that same camera move again, and this time I had my hand in the scene. Now bringing these videos into Final Cut Pro, Imroto AI made quick work of severing my arm from my hand, and the piece of tape that I had there helped the AI detect the difference between my hand and my arm, and know exactly where to stop tracking. Then I set the first video that I filmed without my hand in it as the background to this video. The results are already looking really cool, but my hand doesn't have a shadow. I fixed this by clicking on Imroto AI again and selecting the entire surface of the table so that both my hand and the entire surface of the table with my shadow on it would be visible in the final video. Motion VFX has some of the best plugins I've ever used with Final Cut Pro. If you want to get this plugin, there is a link in the description below. Or if you want to see what some of their other plugins are capable of, then click on one of these videos over here, and I'll see you in the next one.